Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of an inside peek of the new rogue class for last epoch that just dropped. Um, this patch also, I believe, has some form of performance in it along with some new areas that look very, very fantastic and I believe a, a little bit of a addition to the campaign. So, but we're not going to be talking about that. We're just going to be showing the actual rogue class. So you've got your rogue general class here where you can see you unlock uh, smoke bomb, decoy, uh, and ballista. Furthermore, this unlocks the ability to dual wield that a lot of people have been asking for. So all you need to do to do that is just literally unlock twin blade. Um, then there's also the blade dancer and the marksman classes that have been released with this. As you can see, we are playing a marksman. The falconer class or falconer will be coming out later. I believe it's a pet based class. I'm not a hundred percent sure on it. So by going Marksman, using a bow grants 5% increased attack speed, can stack 5 times. All stacks fall off if you have not used a bow attack recently, and 50% increased damage while using a bow. So from here, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of what we specced into before we jump into some maps. So I started off with some essentially attack speed scaling and health gain per hit. Um, then I went ahead and went into Elemental Arrows. I actually did this right at the end because for elemental arrows specifically to work, I needed this node, fire and steel, which prevents my multi-shot from actually utilizing uh, the elemental arrows, which we'll cover in a second. So this way I can make it so one of my skills specifically consumes it. So you can see here, I have elemental arrows. When I shoot, it does not consume. When I use my single target, it consumes. So it works really well for that reason. The elemental arrows give a massive damage scaling. Uh, and then we can consume three in one shot instead of one in one shot from here. Then moving on, we essentially have crit the vulnerability. I don't know exactly how this works. I just know it increases the chance for them to be crit. Then we have critical strike avoidance, critical strike multiplier. We have sharpshooter, which essentially gives us a ton of bow damage as long as we are hitting targets from far away. We have the ability to stun lock most basic mobs with it as well. Then master archer gives us additional multi-shot. Perfect Aim is another buff that stacks with Barrage of Pain, so a ton of uptime on our actual buffs. Now to go into the actual skills, I'm using Detonating Arrow. We're still working out exactly what we want with it. For the most part, the main thing is that we have Beast Slayer Arrow, so it essentially we shoot the Detonating Arrow, it lasts and lingers in the target, then the next goal is to apply another stack with Sucker Punch, then it explodes. Ideally, we use our Mobility skill, which is Shift, uh, since shifts gives us a damage multiplier right before it explodes or it's right as it's applied, I'm not sure. Then I've got split arrow, which is multi-shot for clear. We spec it for mana efficiency so we don't go oom. And then I have rain of arrows I don't use yet. It's really good because I can shred armor with it, but again, it's too mana intensive. And then decoy we use uh, whenever we're kind of in a shitty situation, but also it Armor Shreds, which is super sick, so it's actually good to use as well, as long as we can sustain it. I'm not going to go too much into everything else. Um, this is basically my bow I have. It's got T1 uh, increased bow damage, a lot, well, tier 5 actually. I meant to go with flat physical, but I accidentally crafted increased physical, and it's good enough for me to go with. So, with that being said, let's start. We're going to go with increased health and damage. Let's go ahead and start. The rogue class itself feels extremely smooth. Uh, my character does a lot of damage. We are pretty squishy, but Titan's Heart allows us to have a massive health increase and reduce damage taken. And since we're a leech build, it works out really well. Let's get started. It may not look like I use the uh, the detonating arrow a lot. The reason why I don't use it that much is it's mainly for single target and we have enough damage that our multi arrow actually usually is killing targets. But the detonating arrow we can do upwards of 50 to 70k crits whereas this one is not going to go higher than usually about 8k. How do I even hit that? Oh, well, good enough for me. 
Oh, it's over here. No? What? Huh. Wait, how do you actually get there? Is that bugged? Ah, huh, weird. I've actually never had that happen. Chance to shred armor. Sure, I'll go with that. Definitely working on getting a little bit of cooldown reduction for our dash. A little bit more attack speed to make multi shot feel a tad bit better. Some mana regen so I can actively use Decoy uh, and Reign of Arrows. This guy's tank. And then movement speed. Did I say movement speed yet? I love movement speed. Okay, Decoy down, Reign of Arrows down for slow. this? 100% of Hail of Arrows damage is converted to poison. Interesting. It's a pure Reign of Arrows build. There's a bug going on right now, unfortunately, where we can't actually do this quest echo, so I'm just gonna dodge that so it doesn't bug again. They'll hop fix it in a day or so, I'm sure. Probably actually quicker than that. I think it's already being worked on. this thing again? I must be stupid. There's got to be a way to get to that spot that I'm, like, not doing this correctly. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah, don't... What's my fire res? 49. No, they just hit really hard. Crit multi-bow damage. I'll take that to break down. Does not fit in inventory. I feel like this map is really bugged. Hmm. Two, 34k, nice. Can't wait to get to the higher tier content so I can get a proper use out of the uh, detonating arrow. And the decoy as well. I go there. Is my, is my map like super bug? Hmm. I am very confused <laughs> on how I get there. Maybe this whole zone is just like bugged right now. Maybe I'm just negative IQ, not sure. I'll just go negative IQ. It's always a safe bet.
All right, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of some rogue sneak peek gameplay. And if you guys are curious, I know a lot of people are asking about my build on Twitch. I'm just gonna go ahead and slowly hover over every single thing um, so that you guys can just kind of pause and look through it again. If you guys are curious to check out Last Epoch, um, you can go ahead and check it out on Steam. I believe it's 20% off. Also on my Nexus page, if you guys are unaware, uh, it's also 20% off and I get a cut from it. So that's awesome if you guys would support me there, but you absolutely do not have to. On the Nexus as well, it'll just give you a Steam key. So that should work out really, really well. Only reason I'm using this is for the mana efficiency right now, not for any other reason. Okay, that pretty much shows that. And then real fast. This is where you can find my Nexus page, where you'll basically just see Last Epoch gear and a couple of other games, but not too many. Mainly for the most part, it's Last Epoch right now. You can see it here on sale. And then if you click it, uh, you can see I wrote a little description here. Not very good at writing descriptions. Instead, I have a first impressions video from previously when I played it. So you can see it there. And I'll be doing this with future games that I go through and play. And it's just a really nice feature. Um, anyway, though, take care. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to catch me streaming live every day on Twitch, except for Sundays at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care, everybody.